Hello everybody. So if you watched my first CNC video where I showed my machine, you might have noticed the problem with the axis randomly shutting down on me. Now, I know I could add cooling to help prevent that, but since those things don't really get warm anyway, I don't think it's a problem with cooling. These are the motor drivers currently on my machine. These are the El cheapo ones you find, the TB6600 version, or base version. Uh, five of these were $43 or something like that, just to give you an idea of the cost. Now, my uh, router here is a three-axis machine, so I have three of them, so I have two spares. And that's what that one is. So I picked up some of these guys. They're stepper on lines. Right out of the box, you can see you get more in there. And manual padding, much larger, heavier drive. Now each one of these is forty dollars. So my plan today is to show you what the router does, trying to run a difficult program with the cheap drivers, and then I'm going to swap in these guys and see if it makes a big difference. So yeah, stay tuned. And here is a good size comparison between the two. So this is my piece that I'm going to be testing. Um, it's a half inch thick, bunch of holes and shapes in it, and each one of those passes takes off an eighth of an inch. So it'll, it'll take a little while and should si simulate some strain on the machine. Also, according to the uh, guesstimate here, it should take seven minutes and twelve seconds to cut this out. So. Uh, do the uh, post process on this and we'll take over the C CNC and see what happens. Okay, the G code is loaded, so let's uh, see how this goes. I'm going to hit record on the drivers, see if they do anything noticeable. I got two cameras going. Alright, let's see what happens. <laughs> And I believe we just lost X. So it looks like still a Ford back. Left, right is dead. Up, down still works. So we made it one minute into that cut. So I'm going to swap out the drives and we'll see what happens. Both drives are set to uh, four steps or 800 pulses per revolution and then it's max voltage peak current of 3.5 motors can handle 4.2 but that's as high as these go so i'm going to set the new drives to max those All right, new drives are installed, the computer is booting up, and if we zoom in a little here, you can notice the new drives have green lights instead of permanently red ones. So, so far so good. All right, drives are installed and working. Right off the bat, I noticed they're a lot quieter than the other ones, mostly. However, push uh, left here, machine goes right, go right, goes left towards me, goes backwards, so the directions are off. I'll need to get that fixed, but that's just a simple setting. All right, I checked the steps and they are the same, so the motor, motors are moving the same distance when you want it to. So let's uh, load the G-code and try it again.
Well, that worked perfectly. Didn't stall, didn't die. Worked great. Now let's try to cut something. Well, yeah, that sucks. Uh, hopefully, we got another one. Otherwise, I'm going to hit pause on this and I'll pick it up in a week when a new bit shows up. Oh, finally. That's about it for the drivers. Um, one thing I have done is added the switch. This switch powers up the machine and turns on the socket. That socket is where I'm going to be plugging in the monitor. So, the machine was on because I plugged in the vacuum, but I just turned it off. So yeah, that was kind of neat. That's powered by a SJ cord that runs through the table and up into the uh, outlet in the back. Also, I have a little hearing protection for that uh, overly noisy router there and baby toys. So I made that video eight months ago. I have since replaced all three with the new drivers. And I have screwed down my little access point and it hasn't been open since. I've added a, uh, a little monitor bar. See, kind of neat, huh? That's like 18 bucks, that's hilarious. That's soap, you know, soap up screws, it goes right in. Anyway, the monitor bar is attached to the corner here, so it's it's so reliable, I haven't needed to open it yet. With the old motor drivers, I was opening it up all the time. I've used this thing for countless cuts. It has dozens of hours on it by now, and so far it hasn't given me any trouble at all. If you're going to make a CMC machine, just buy the better ones right off the bat, because you're wasting your time otherwise. Time and money. Also, my dad uses this chair. But the chair, it's working fine. I put some of these little uh, nut certs in it, screwed it in from the bottom, and it's, it's holding up great. Yeah, I haven't used the machine since I made the RC pontoon boat, and it's kind of become a catch-all now, but, you know, it is what it is. What I'm thinking about doing next is adding a little little block right here or so, so I can put in my router bits. i also use my pen there to label what they are. I have some foam and some plastic router bits. And they look identical to the wood cutting router bits, so yeah, I gotta figure out something to do about that one. Alright, everybody, links below to my drivers. Or it should be right about there. So, I'll see you all next time.